Welcome to Cute eLearning Channel. In this lecture, we will discuss the strain aging. Description of damage. Strain aging is a form of metallurgical damage found mostly in older, pre-1980, carbon steels and carbon one-half molybdenum low alloy steels that were not fully deoxidized as more modern steels are. It is associated with older steel making processes such as the Bessemer and open hearth processes, which use air instead of oxygen to remove carbon. Strain aging occurs in a susceptible steel under the combined effects of deformation and aging, at an intermediate temperature. This results in an increase in hardness and strength, with a reduction in ductility and toughness. Strain aging is a concern because it increases the chances of brittle fracture. Effect of strain are shown by stress diagram. Affected materials Mostly older, pre-1980, carbon steels with a large grain size and carbon one half molybdenum alloy steel. Critical factors Steel composition and manufacturing process determine steel susceptibility. Steels manufactured by the Bessemer or open hearth process, both of which use air to remove carbon, contain a higher level of nitrogen than newer steels manufactured by the basic oxygen furnace process. In general, steels made by the basic oxygen furnace process and fully killed, deoxidized, with aluminum will not be susceptible. The effect is found in steels with higher levels of nitrogen and carbon, but not in the modern fully deoxidized carbon steels. Strain aging effects are observed in materials that have been cold worked and placed into service at intermediate temperatures without stress relieving strain aging is a major concern for equipment that contains cracks if susceptible materials are plastically deformed and exposed to intermediate temperatures the zone of deformed material may become hardened and less ductile this phenomenon has been associated with several vessels that have failed by brittle fracture typically following repair welds that were not post weld heat treatment affected units or equipment strain aging is most likely to occur in thick wall vessels manufactured from susceptible materials that have not been stress relieved appearance or morphology of damage strain aging can be revealed through detailed metallurgical analyses but damage most likely will not be identified as strain aging until fracture has already occurred in cases where strain aging results from metal forming at ambient temperature and then aging at 
and intermediate temperature in service, the effects of stain aging have been observed by an increase in the hardness. Prevention Mitigation Strain aging is not an issue for newer steels that contain low levels of interstitial impurity elements and sufficient aluminum, greater than 0.015 weight percent, to fully deoxidize the steel. For older equipment, extra care should be taken to Avoid the potentially damaging effects of strain aging by avoiding stressing or pressurizing equipment until the metal temperature reaches an acceptable level where the risk of brittle fracture is low. Applying post-weld heat treatment to weld repairs of susceptible materials will eliminate the effects of strain aging because heating in the temperature range of 1100 degrees Fahrenheit to 1200 degrees Fahrenheit eliminates the strain that causes the embrittlement. Where post-weld heat treatment is not possible, buttering should be considered to minimize welding residual stresses acting on the old material being welded inspection and monitoring there are no commercially available online inspection or monitoring techniques to detect strain aging Hardness testing can be used in cases where strain aging has occurred over a large area of the material. Hardness testing is not effective in detecting strain aging embrittlement resulting from welding. Related Mechanisms when deformation occurs at the intermediate temperature, as is the case of welding, the mechanism is referred to as dynamic strain aging. Blue brittleness is another form of strain aging. Strain aging summary Description Increase in hardness and strength with a reduction in ductility and toughness. Temperature range. Intermediate temperature. Affected metallurgy. Mostly older, pre-1980, carbon steels with a large grain size and carbon, one-half molybdenum, low alloy steel. Prevention For older equipment Pressurizing equipment until the metal temperature reaches an acceptable level. If weld repairs are required PWHT or buttering. For new equipment Use fully deoxidized, killed, steel with aluminum. Inspection methods None inspection and monitoring are not used to control strain aging. Practice time. Question number one. Carbon, one half molybdenum, low alloy steel at intermediate temperature prone for which damage mechanism? Answer is D. Question number two. 
Question number two. Most accurately describes the appearance of strain aging damage. Answer is A. Question number three. Which of the following NDE inspection techniques is most effective monitoring for strain aging? Answer is D. Question number four. Strain aging is a major concern for equipment that contains. Answer is A. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for the next lecture.